This is my laptop, and it's even older than the one it replaced. Despite being 10 years old, this is why this Samsung is the best laptop I've owned. This is my Samsung Notebook Series 5, or something like that, from 2012. The model number is NP350V5C, really catchy. This was handed to me after my Acer died. Let's just say it lived a meaningful life. For this Samsung, let's start with durability. Just surviving 10 years without a hinge failing is a feat in itself. It does have some damage though. One of the rubber feet kind of just disappeared and now you can see the RAM. The finish has worn off in some places, which is kind of to be expected. The one annoying thing about the design of this laptop is the speaker grill, which is impossible to clean. I really like the design of these old laptops. Despite being very thick and heavy, this laptop features rounded corners and a nice finish, like this blue-gray brushed aluminum styling on the back. Generally, Samsung is good at making their products look ahead of their time. Originally it had a nice matte screen, but I broke it, and this was a spare in my shed from an old HP from around the same year. The screen is only 1366 by 768 and at 15.6 inches, it isn't the clearest screen I've seen. However, I don't really mind, and all it means is that it is easier to drive with the ancient Radeon 7670M graphics card. Performance-wise, this computer is a huge upgrade from my old Acer. I don't really play games at school, so the graphics card doesn't matter. After a factory reset, I lost Gary's mod, but I can guarantee with about 300 mods, it ran no lower than 20 FPS on a bad day, which is pretty nice. I had some performance issues which is why I factory reset it, but I found out it was an easy fix, and when I make a video about it, I'll link it above and below. The i7 3630QM is much faster than the i5-4210U in my old Acer, probably because it has 4 cores instead of 2. I had a 4GB stick of laptop RAM laying around so I chucked it in this and now it has 12 gigs of RAM, which is plenty for what I need. Mum used to own a laptop really similar to this one. It was pretty much the same but with an i5 and 4GB of RAM. I kept some parts from it in a drawer and I was able to re-add the missing CD drive vanity cover that went missing over the years. I think laptops from this era get a bad reputation of being very sluggish. And you'd be right if it is completely untouched. This is because they normally use hard drive disks, which are painfully slow to use in the current era. Using an SSD I had lying around from my previous laptop, it is now very responsive and almost feels as fast as a brand new laptop. The final thing I'm going to talk about is the one thing that makes this laptop a bit of a pain to use, the battery life. The battery in it is a no-name replacement from a very long time ago. Paired with the 45 watt TDP of the CPU among other things, you'd be lucky if the battery lasts 2 hours. That means I have to bring my charger to almost every session. It is annoying, but it is a workaround. So if you have an old laptop around, I definitely recommend popping an SSD in it before considering a completely new computer. Because this 10 year old laptop is the best laptop I've ever owned. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, sharing and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.